Obviously, your, your arm's uh, in a sling. Is there a prognosis uh, on the injury? Uh, no, we haven't been able to get an x-ray, but they think there might be some maybe nerve damage in the bicep. So, I don't know. I think it was a good performance, but there's definitely a lot of room to improve. Um, you know, Vitor had me second-guessing myself. I just got to get more comfortable in the octagon. Um, you know, I worked so hard on my stand-up and so hard on my wrestling and things. I definitely need to to embrace jujitsu more and be a person who practices what I preach. And I definitely preach being a mixed martial artist and you know being passionate about all martial arts. But I can admit that you know jujitsu isn't something that I do every day. So I thought my top game looked really poor. Um, I think the ground and pound was pretty good. That's something that Greg Jackson really prides himself on is having good ground and pound. Um, striking was, was fair. In the first round, how close do you think that was? I mean, you seem like you were cranking it pretty hard. And, and how much respect do you have for Jones now afterwards, the fact that he was able to fight through that and not tap? I always had a respect for him. I knew he was a very good champion. And, and I had my opportunity. I, I, I think when I heard pop, I kind of I lost the pressure and he got away. And it is what it is, man, you know. I thought I really had their arm, but he, he fought through it, you know. He did great. Uh, I just remember going into the second round, um, thanking God that, that I had gotten out of that armbar and also thanking God for the adversity. You know, it was like um, I worked so hard on my cardio this time. So, you know, I think when you're out of shape, it creates like frustration and confusion in there. But when you can breathe clearly, you think really clearly. And uh, I honestly thank God when I sat down for having a hurt, having a hurt arm, uh, just to prove to myself and prove to my coaches that all the speeches and all the stories that they tell me about warriors, um, just to be able to prove uh, that I can be a warrior as well. So I was, I was grateful uh, to be able to come back from something. It's been a long 10 weeks grueling camp, <clears throat> training for Joseph Benavides and uh, you know, yeah, I'm just, you know, my body's in a little shock right now, so I'm just trying to get my body back to normal. And um, I'm sure once all my uh, aches and bruises heal up and I go home and relax a little bit and get back in the gym, start training again, I think it was it. And so I'm, I'm very happy and very ecstatic, and I was happy to do it with Joseph Benavides, one of the best fighters in the world. Brian is a hell of a fighter, but I, I thought if I had one obvious advantage, it would be in the wrestling department. But I didn't want to go out there and just, you know, turn it into a wrestling match. It's the UFC. We're here to fight. I want to put on an exciting fight, and I wanted, wanted to stop the guy. Um, I was unsuccessful doing that, but um, I, as far as game plans go, I executed it well. I wanted to hit him. I wanted to take him down. I wanted to knock him out and submit him. I didn't do that. But what I wanted to do was, you know... Keep him guessing, you know, one minute he'd think I was going to punch him and then shoot in. And when he thinks I'm going to shoot, I was going to hit him in the face, you know, and that was the plan. But I didn't get the finish. Watch post-fight interviews and unaired prelims only on UFC.com.